Hey, what's up guys? What is going on? It is Modern here with my first Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary for you guys to check out. I'm pretty excited about this gameplay you guys are about to watch. I got a really nice score on it. And it's on my favorite map right now, which is Outpost. It's a snowy map, if you guys haven't played it yet. This is Domination Ground War, by the way, so it's 8 on 8. And uh, that's probably the game mode I've been playing the most right now is Ground War. Um, Domination is my favorite game type. So here you see I capture the flag at the beginning. I'm going to throw a nade and get the first blood. And the gun I'm using here, if, you're not rec if you haven't recognized it yet, if you've never used it, you haven't unlocked it, it's called the Type 9.5, and basically it's the FAMAS from Modern Warfare 2. If you guys use the uh, FAMAS and MW2 at all, if you played that game, it's uh, probably the most um, obvious way I can describe this gun is it's the FAMAS. It's a three-burst weapon, and a lot of people are saying that it's like the most powerful gun in the game in Modern Warfare 3, and it's like really overpowered. I don't really see why they get that. Um, as I do get a one burst kill there, but as I've been using the gun, it just seems just as powerful as any other weapon, and uh, nothing really overpowered about it. And the strike package I'm using, you see I dropped down that Predator missile. I've got the uh, Assault strike package, so I got Predator, um, Reaper, and AC-130, and you guys will see the Reaper and AC-130 here in the game, and uh, I think I speed through them, but you'll see them do work, and I'll, I'll talk about them a little bit later when I get to them. But, um... So what I like about this game right now, guys, is it is so freaking fast-paced. If you guys have been playing, um, you probably realize from going from Black Ops to Modern Warfare 3 that you are in a absolute... Look at this guy. <laughs> okay. Am I the only one who's laughing at the way this guy's running? That's my friend Tactics HD there, by the way. Look at him run by. Look at That's like a complete troll run right there. I just think... Oh, my God. I think of this video I just recently watched that a guy's running around with crazy like legs and arms. Watch this right here. Wait for it. <laughs> I'm, uh, that actually makes me crack up when I watch him run. He's got the shotgun and I take his kill there. But um, uh, this game is so much more fast paced. And I pick up the Reaper there on an 8 point streak. And I like how capturing flags builds your kill streak or your point streak. So I captured two flags and that counts as uh, going towards my kill streak. So I got my Reaper pretty quickly there for 8 kills. And I'm going to speed this part up. But. The Reaper, basically, you're up there in a UAV-like assault drone thing, and you're shooting Predator missiles that you can actually guide towards the target all the way down until it hits the ground. Then you can shoot another one and just keep going. I get a, quite a few kills here, I think. And then right here, I get the double, and I'm going to pick up my AC-130 in a second, I think, with this one right here. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I got the AC-130. AC-130, guys, just like Modern Warfare 2. I'm so happy they put this, this uh, kill streak back in the game. Um, probably my favorite kill streak right now in this game, and I haven't tried going for any higher kill streaks than the AC-130. I haven't unlocked any yet. This is kind of disappointing. Their whole team was spawning right down there, and the cliff got in my way. It's kind of a sad part of the map here. But if you guys know how to turn the thermal on in the AC-130, that's something I can't figure out because you saw right there. I'm trying to shoot those uh, missiles into the bunker, and I can't see where the openings are. But I'm not sure if there's a thermal um, button for the AC-130 like there was in Modern Warfare 3. I'd like to figure that out though, so if you guys do know, just let me know in the comment what button I'm supposed to push or hold or whatever. But we've got these guys backed up on the C flag, and uh, you're going to see me do work with the Type 95 here. And I'll let you guys know probably my favorite thing about this game in a second, you're going to see it here. Um, you see I just came out of the AC-130, I haven't died yet, and I'm just going to keep on picking up some kills here. I've got two already, and they're just at the C flag, I'm just killing them. And you see I got my Predator missile, but what the hell, I didn't die, but the you're assault package your strike package for the assault it doesn't reset um, so well it resets when you die but if you continue on you get your three kill streaks and you're still alive you keep going it'll actually reset your kills so you can continue to get your kill streaks even though you have not died you just keep on going so I've got that predator put that down I'm just gonna keep on going I got the M16 I picked up off the ground um, I haven't really done much with the M16 yet um, from my own class, I don't even think I have a class set up with it. Mainly been sticking to the M4, um, the Type 9.5. I've been using the SCAR a little bit. I've actually been having trouble finding a gun that I like to use. Um, it seems like all the guns are equally as powerful. There's really nothing that stands out to me. Um, it just depends what kind of a player you are. The shotguns, though, I have to say they seem pretty weak. I pick up my second Reaper there on my uh, on the same life. So two Reapers in one life is pretty good. And I'm just gonna keep on killing these guys. I think I get. A second AC-130 in this life too as I get kind of worried there I w didn't know where that guy went and I managed to take him out with the M16 and then I think I dropped down to the Reaper speed it up for you guys same thing 
launching those predators from above and guiding them. This thing's pretty difficult to use. You, they got the Sam turret on me, and I couldn't direct it over to the Sam turret. It wouldn't let me aim down there. But the Sam turrets, um, a lot of people are using them. If you use the support class, um, since we're all pretty much noobs at this game, a lot of people's default support support strike package is the Sam turret. So you'll see a lot of Sam turrets, and they're kind of annoying shooting down your air support. But I think as the game goes on, we're not going to see too much of the Sam, uh, the Sam turret because we're all going to be leveling up and we're going to be using higher kill streaks or support streaks, uh, whatever you're down to use. And see right here is where I needed the thermal, trying to put him into the bunker there, but I couldn't see the openings. I know there's a little window there, but I couldn't see through the snow. So I'd like to know how to turn the thermal on if they did bring that back into the game. That would be pretty interesting. We got them triple capped here, actually, and uh, man, we're just doing work. And I think uh, for those of you who care, some people are, have been asking me already what my kill death ratio is in this game. Um, it's a 2.9 or a 2.8 um, kill death ratio. It's such a fast paced game, I find it actually really difficult to get good games consistently because people are running around like crazy um, and just getting kills really quickly. Black Ops really slow paced I found. And it was easy just to kind of take your time, set up your position and take people out when you were ready. And uh, right there it's one of those situations where I haven't died so long and I'm just kind of like, well I've got nowhere else to go because they're triple capped and I just kind of run up there and get myself killed. Um, I don't know if you guys kind of know what I'm talking about, but you just kind of ad admit a death and just kind of go up there and you know you're going to die. There's like three people over there. You just decide to run up there anyways. And uh, right here, I, I don't know why I couldn't shoot through the wall there. I think I need that proficiency. And I've got the kick proficiency on this Type 95, which, um, in, oh that sucks, which basically reduces the recoil on the gun. And that's probably my favorite proficiency for every gun. That's what I use for every gun. If you guys are wondering, I recommend the pro proficiency kick. So you get that less recoil. Also, the other one, I can't remember the name of it, but it reduces your recoil when you're being shot. So I like that one too. And this guy's trying to take A with the right shield. Always shoot at the feet. Usually gets exposed if they're moving around. But that game's over, guys. You see, I go 42 kills, I think. 42 kills and 3 deaths. Got a few captures in there too, so a good overall game. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like for me. It helps me out a lot. Look forward to bringing you guys some more MW3 gameplay. If you're not subscribed, feel free to. Peace.